You won't miss a race, tip, protest, winner or moment on racing.com. And you won't miss a moment if you drink wise. Sammy Ohm was absolute champion, you know, all the, all the build up to the race and riding him in all the lead up races, you know, right from the, his first up run. And just knowing that after the St George, I generally think he's just going to just win the Australia Cup, and it's a big call. I know people will say he's a bit, you know, a bit silly. Number three is Sermione. He's a big, strong horse. I think we might be going to see another of these duels we've seen. I just knew you know, if, if Princess Koo was the one to beat, that I had, I had the measure of all of the whole field. Set for the Daly Australian Cup, they're off. Mr. I can remember the day I wanted to be sort of midfield, but got beyond midfield. I had Princess Koo blocked on the fence, and then Miss Finland directly in front of me. About the 600, I'd come off the bridle. Sermione's about to come to the outside. Ollie plays for luck on Princess Co. Without going for him, I sort of asked him to come right up underneath me, and he took about five or six strides and started to hit top gear. And, and um, I just went with the horse, and he put five on him within three or four strides. I felt, you know, they're, they're straight at Flemington's. It's a long way to the end, and you're in a Group One Australia Cup. It's a long way to go. But Sermione let down, and Bart's boy exploded away at the 250. He's looking for his 13th Australian Cup, running the second Casino Prince from Miss Finland. Look at Sermione go! Opens the shoulders up. He's roaring away. It's another one for Bart, and Sermione for Peter Mertens wins the cup and wins it brilliantly. You got to ride the race and get the job done. Pr before you can actually explode within, with your joy, you can't let off, you can't go too early. To not being a flash wagon jockey or flamboyant jockey, that was it, it all just come out that day. Pato was a living legend, you know, as we, as we hooked up at the top of the race there, he just says, Good to see you, son. And um, I, I just, you can see by the photo that I couldn't want the smile on my face, and I high five and crowd on the way back through the arch. And, and Joey aggresses there, that's, um, Joey's been a big fan of mine for the whole, my whole career and um, you can see the look on Bart's face and how intent of him. You know, he really truly listened to what you had to say and he took it all on board. Just standing there next to the man, it's just, um, you know, I've been, you, know I'm, I'm, you can see my face is burst and I'm proud as punch. Like I said, it's uh, 40 years, it's a long time in racing and um, although I had a lot of success, you know, those, those pinnacle races avoided me and that one never got away and um, I, I wish I could have taken a big cup home instead of a little one.